Good evening, Lawrence. Good evening, Rachel. And of course, I was taking notes, uh, learning all about Dana Buente and actually taking notes about his notes. It was yeah. really extraordinary to see you uh, revealing those actual handwritten notes, which I would not have expected to see until they were introduced as exhibits, uh, either in a courtroom or in uh, a hearing in, in the Congress. It, it really is, uh, as far as the notes go, uh, a word-for-word -word corroboration of what James Comey's testimony is. It is. You know, it's what it tells me as a layman looking at this stuff is that people who are trained in the FBI and in the Justice Department, people who are trained as high-level prosecutors, law enforcement uh, personnel, are trained to take really good notes um, for just such an occasion. And um, Comey obviously was relying on his own notes from his conversations with the president when he put together that very careful testimony uh, for Congress, both his written testimony and his testimony under questioning. Um, so he was relying on his own notes, and he was probably relying on those same notes. He may have been relying on those same notes when he spoke to Bente, or those, those comments from the president may have been so fresh that Bente was able to write them down uh, immediately after, basically, James Comey heard them from the president. And these guys put quotation marks in their notes. Their phrases immediately echo each other. Um, and that's how you build a that's how you build a body of evidence. These are trained professionals. Rachel, I, I'm going to break with what I've got lined up here because I have Benjamin Wittes ready to go as one of our first guests this evening. He's mm -hmm. ready to uh, jump in here from San Francisco. He's a friend of James Comey. He's also, as you know, the editor in chief of Lawfare, senior fellow at the Brookings Institution, an MSNBC analyst. And I, Benjamin Wittes, I just want to get your reaction to what Rachel revealed tonight uh, and Dana Buente's uh, notes basically confirming James Comey's testimony about the president's interactions with him. Well, so it's, of course, uh, completely unsurprising to those of us who know Jim Comey and know that if he tells, some, tells you something that happened in a congressional hearing and there's going to be corroboration of it, then that's the corroboration is going to show you that that's exactly what happened. And, you know, I'm delighted that uh, Dana Bente took notes of those conversations. Uh, but I'm not the least bit surprised and uh, that they show that, uh, as, as Rachel reported, and uh, that, that what Jim said was, you know, accurate in, you know, almost down to the level of, of the specific words. And, and, you know, those of us who know Jim know that, you know, whatever you agree with him, you disagree with him, he is an honest and trustworthy individual. And I would urge people to go back to his testimony, to watch that testimony, and to think about the substance of the things that he said. And if it helps that, you know, we now have the then Deputy Attorney General's notes corroborating it, then great. I think that's wonderful. And Rachel, that's the way you presented it tonight, the notes uh, and then cutting straight to the video testimony. Yeah. And, and, you know, we're we're trying to, you know, A, read the handwriting, B, make sure we're looking at what we think we're looking at, uh, and C, put it in context in terms of what they would have known at the time and how this ends up becoming relevant uh, in this ongoing case that potentially involves the president and obstruction of justice. I mean, for me, one of the things that was really interesting here, and I think it may have just been a kind of an accidental thing, was this essentially cover letter from the counterintelligence chief at the FBI saying, I know these documents are stamped top secret, but I am hereby attesting that these are not classified documents. That for us was additional corroboration that these were in fact Dana Bente's handwritten notes from his conversation with James Comey about on March 30th uh, because the counterintelligence division at FBI had to step in to say that this classification uh, was was improperly stamped on there. So we're, we're trying to follow the clues to make sure that what we're looking at is what we what we think we're looking at. But it, it, we are surmising that the reason we've the reason these things were prepared in the way they were, the reason the FBI had to sign off on the fact that they weren't classified is because we're guessing that this was all handed over to Mueller and that this was part of Bente preparing for his testimony to Mueller as an important witness in this case. Uh, Rachel, one second. Let's just get a quick expert opinion from Benjamin Budas about that. Is, it, is that what is likely uh, happened here, that this has been handed over to the special prosecutor? So I, I can't imagine that the special prosecutor does not have uh, all the party's contemporaneous notes uh, that would have been produced at the time. That would be something that they would do. I can't, 
I can't tell you that that is what happened, obviously, because I don't know, but it certainly sounds plausible, and it certainly would be implausible for the special prosecutor not to try to get his hands and not to successfully get his hands on all the notes that anybody would have made at the time. Moreover, uh, I think it is worth noting that, you know, a lot of people did take notes and write memos at the time. And we know from, from Comey's testimony that he left meetings with the president and back from the time he was president-elect and immediately wrote down the uh, interactions that he had. We also know that Andy McCabe had contemporaneous notes. And so I think, you know, this is clearly a group of people who were very aware that they were dealing with momentous events and that they were participating in them and wanted records of their interactions and wanted very clear uh, validations of their memory at the time. And so, you know, I think if you had been in those rooms, you would have taken notes, too. Yeah. Yep, That's exactly makes perfect right. sense. Yeah. Rachel, thank you for your extraordinary reporting. Uh, you need two shows tonight, and so I wanted to give you as much of this one as you needed. And thank I really you. wanted to hear what Benjamin Woodis had to say about yeah, that, given his insights. Thanks, both of you. Thanks. Thank you, Rachel. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.